Hello, I would like to show you um, how to do uh, test driven development and I'm going to use a function called is prime. Uh, it will be simple and I also don't try to think much so I'll just I have not practiced this talk on purpose because it shows you how um, like if you, if you are thinking very very deep something is wrong. Alright so this is the job we're going to do. Show for the values from 0 to 100 if these are prime. And first we're going to start from big to small. We're going to write down, well, that means that we need a for loop, 0, 100, and steps of 1. And we're going to show if these are prime. Well, let's do something like this. Stitch out. I'd like to show the value. And then if it's prime, it's prime. I slash n. So th this is the thing I want to write. Well it doesn't compile yet so let's make that work as well. Include io stream for c out and the function is prime does not exist so I'm going to write it just minimally so it compiles. Well is prime takes an integer as an argument and it returns something and for now I just wanna return something. So I'm just gonna return like a false. Now the program compiles and it shows uh, that the values are always well non-prime because it's a stub. Stub. Alright so what we're now going to do is we're going to write some tests. First we're going to write a test that breaks fix it and then uh, iterate. We, we won't check into GitHub in this video. So I'm going to write a I'm going to call test. This is my this is already uh, the green phase. This means I've already written code that breaks my build. Doesn't compile anymore. So let's also add that void test. So this will test stuff. Now it works great. Uh, next thing we're going to test if assert is prime. Two equals true. Uh, well, let's show it. Let's show it. Let's first show it in a naive way. So um, this works. Oh, this breaks. All right. So we're going to include assert, and it works again. But the assertion fails. Um, so uh, actually, the, the test is completely incorrect. One is not a prime. So now the test is built again. Let's write a new test that breaks the code. Well, I think 2 is a prime, it should be. And now it breaks the code. Now what we're now going to do is we're going to make the code pass again. Well, if i is less than 2, return false, else return true works again. It's not correct yet, but uh, it reduces stuff. Alright, now if you do for example 3, 3 is not a prime. Now we've again written a test that fails. Well, probably now we have to do some work. Now we actually have to uh, do a for loop to divide all the numbers. I'm going to call this, rename this to an x, and I'm going to iterate with using for int i equals 0 as long as i is unequal to x in steps of 1. And if I can divide if x modulo i, if I can divide it and there's no remainder, then it's not a prime. For example, if we divide by 2, um, that's not a prime return. It's not a prime. Else it is a prime. And then let's see what happens because I did this stupidly on purpose and you'll see that it crashes. Oh, it should crash. Well, that's uh, weird. Because, well, if I do modulo 0, it should return in a failure. Uh, well, alright, well, then we just continue. Well, I think a 4 should be prime. Oh, actually. Actually, 3 is a prime. Alright, so let's, let's fix 3 a prime. Works. 
but 4 is not a prime. So let's add a 4. What well, works? That means that 5 should be a prime. Apparently it already magically works. Oh, well, in that case, well, let's, um, let's take a look at the results then. Oh, actually, it doesn't show anything. That means it has probably crashed. So why would that be? So I run with the debugger. And finally it says there's an arithmetic exception going on here. Because we modulo uh, by zero. Taking the modulo of something means dividing by zero. Uh, taking the modulo of something means that you divide by that value and you check for the remainder. Well, moduloing by zero means div dividing by zero. So, actually, I broke the test way earlier. Well, so I think that we shouldn't start with a, with i of zero, but of two. But let's see how far we get now. Hey, now it, get, it does a lot of things. And does this look right? So two is a prime, three is a prime, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen. Well, we're done. Alright, as a final thing, um, I've added too much tests here, you saw I was not completely strict and if a test, so I've added some tests just to be sure. And those tests passed. I should have deleted those, but it was a bit sloppy. Um, so I don't know which tests to delete now, I think they're, these are just fine as a test. You also see that this, uh, th there are things that can be improved, for example this for loop doesn't need to go. Uh, to x, it, it can go to the square root of x. Uh, it's, this is a way too much. Uh, perhaps if I just divide by 2, it still works. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, but divide by 2 plus 1, then it works again. Uh, with it, so, because and, and um, I'm not going to detail why that is. Actually, you need to take the square root of x and add 1. Let's also do that, just just for whatever my reasoning is. I'm, I'm not interested in my reasoning. Let's take the square root of x. And we add 1. And we need to include cmoth then as well. It still works. Oh, well, it doesn't work. Square root of x. 1 plus 2 then. Alright, so we're going in the wrong direction here. So just undo all the all the stuff I did. And just keep it simple. Yeah, this I liked this version. It's a bit smaller because it makes less divisions. Um so you can see how it goes, I just in in that everything and I have still code that works awesomely. Alright, so this was a sloppy uh, example which I did on purpose, in which I didn't think at all, that's why I was sloppy how to do test driven development using a simple function called is prime which determines if a number is prime definitely things can be improved uh, but i won't do that here all right enjoy the rest of your day i hope this was an insightful video for you and uh, well bye